I'm Patty Siglio, and I'm a ceramic artist who lives here in Helena, Montana. Um, I've been in Helena for about three years, and prior to Helena, I was lucky enough to live for um, a long time in the Gardner Yellowstone area of Montana. I grew up in Ohio and have my Bachelor of Fine Arts from a small university in Michigan and came out to Yellowstone for one summer job and I'm still here all these years later. Um, it's an honor to be in Helena and to be able to have the Archie Bray Foundation as a base for my current work as a ceramic artist. Um, they've been a great inspiration and many of the resident artists who serve as instructors have helped me just broaden my scope in ceramics and, and along the way. So this is one of the, the current pieces that I'm most excited about. Um, it's, it's a closed orb shape and it incorporates a process called scraffito, which is um, basically carving into clay through, uh, through a layer of the colored um, material that's on top. Uh, before it ever gets glazed. And there is a specific time that you have to work with that clay uh, when it's in, in the right, um, right, uh, dry, right dryness, I guess, to be able to carve and not make a big fat mess out of wet clay. So this is an interesting one. It has a quote from an E.E. E. Cummings poem. You are my, you are my son my moon and all my stars and i thought that was a great piece for the show that's currently at the one plus one gallery which is sort of the human body the human experience so that's that's one piece i threw a little comic relief into um into a current um series, there are six cups, and I call them the superheroes of humanity. Um, so it was, I had this idea for um, a uh, paper doll kind of image, and I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with that, and I just started in on these cups and came up with a paper doll, a man and a, a male and a female shape, and wanted sort of a comic book-esque look to them, so the black and white with bright colors, so the inside of all these cups are bright yellow. And then just pulled in words that could be describe a superhero of humanity, like humble, um, there's quirky, there's fun loving. Um, so that's kind of a fun twist to my work. There are many other pieces that I do um, that are maybe inspired by a quote. I've been a quote collector since the time I was little. Uh, and have many quote books and pieces of paper and things in my collection. So this is a Leonardo da Vinci quote that says, water is the driving force of all nature. And to honor this show again, the human body, I started with a female form. She evolved into a mermaid to sort of incorporate with the water theme. And that's how this plate was developed. So. I use, um, you know, I obviously have to start with a ceramic piece, so this large plate form. And then to me, it just turns into a blank canvas. And there I do my work, whatever it is, the graffito, or this is not carved. This is uh, all painted on or, or slip trailed um, on and then glazed. So it's a different, um, different material in terms of the ceramics, but still, sort of using the ceramic piece as, as a canvas. There are other things that I do. This is also a scraffito technique. This is a um, Emerson quote, thou art to me a delicious torment. And again, for the human body um, exhibit that is currently going on, it's not a visually, not visually speaking of the, the body, but I thought it was very fitting for the, the show. And this again is a, is a gentle glaze over the top of um, intricately carved lettering. Um, and Maureen, who owns the gallery, teases me because uh, my love of font 
came from calligraphy classes with um, Catholic nuns in my Catholic all-girls high school back in Ohio. And they taught me calligraphy and the love of font and line. And so you'll see that throughout my work as well, whether it's carved or whether it's or uh, you know, written on the piece. So that's just another example. This is one of my favorite pieces, um, although it's just tiny and very simple. The letters spell the word breathe. And to me, in my experience currently, that is something that I use uh, as, as, a, uh, as a personal kind of mantra to get through my day or if, through my, the course of my work. Just take a deep breath, <laughs> just breathe. Um, so it's a, a tiny little cup, but I love how it fits in your hands nicely. And it's got a sentiment that means a lot to me and hopefully to someone else as well. This is, an, this is an interesting piece as well. This is not sgraffito. This is, uh, again, almost using the piece of ceramic as a watercolor, um, a, a watercolor page. So this was many layers of a light, um, light wash of uh, watercolor-esque material that uh, is painted on a piece of bisque ware. This is a Leo Buscaglia quote he was somebody that I remember from the 70s and he kind of came back to me, think of what you are and the fantastic potential of you. Um, and so I think it's a good inspiration for everyone. There are three sort of um, nymph fairy figures wrapped into this sort of tree organic um, form that's on this plate. And it was a big experiment for me just to see how that went. Uh, again, inspired after I attended a a residence workshop at the Archie Bray. She, the um, artist, um, uses these underglazes and does some fantastic work. So that was inspiration from her. So I think that turned out nicely. Many of my pieces are inspired by poets or authors who write about nature, um, the universe, the human experience in relation to the world. Um, John Muir is, of course, a favorite of mine because of my time spent in Yellowstone and the natural world. Um, this series, there are four cups to this series, um, inspired by a writer by the name of Ellen Malloy, who wrote a book entitled The Anthropology of Turquoise. And sh that was sort of a reflection of turquoise from the desert, the sky, the sea, and the stone. And so these four cups represent each one of those components, desert, sky, sea, stone. And so I pulled a quote from the book and incorporated that into the cup. And then on the flip side, there's sort of a little watercolor painting um, or sketch that incorporates a human figure, again, because of the show. Um, but they turned out, turned out sort, of, sort of interesting. I love the deep color on the inside and just how they feel in my hands, I'm a, I'm a big person, I've got big hands, so I don't make tiny, <laughs> tiny little um, pieces, but in general, I think it's, it's got a really nice feel to it, and I love the, the inspiration for the series. This is an example of the scraffito technique as well. This one is not necessarily inspired by a reading or a quote, but I just loved the, the thought of a tiny little plate. You can hold it in your hand. You could use it for sushi. You could use it for your tea bag or jewelry. And so this is uh, white stoneware that has a black underglaze painted on it and then scraped away into that design. So the design is, is part of the clay body itself and then it's glazed with a clear coat. And so it's, a, it's just a sweet little plate. The same technique, sgraffito, is used in this piece. Um, this does have the inspiration. It's a John Muir quote, the world is big and I want to get a good look at it before it gets dark. Um, and again, my, my love of nature, there's fish, there's trees, mountains, clouds, um, land, uh, inspired by my time down in, in lovely gardener and Yellowstone, and a quiet little message of peace in the corner. Um, 
to bring that to fruition however I can to the world in such a crazy place that we live in. So this is a very large platter piece and that was a good experiment for me to see how that went with plenty of room as a, as a ceramic canvas to, to have lots of room to play. And again, the font um, and carved, carved into the rim of the plate. I love incorporating that into my work. If I were to try and wrap up who I am as a ceramic artist at the time, I would say that my, my appreciation for nature, the natural world, and, and for the way that we as humans move through the world and, and experience nature and passion and fear and beauty um, wraps, wraps into pieces. Um, this is a, a really sweet little piece. It is um, a quote. It was here that the romance of my life began. And it may be John Muir talking about Yellowstone, but um, I sort of think about that um, from, my, from my artwork, a sort of a rebirth when I came to Helena and started to be exposed to the Archie Bray and, and all that I could bring as a ceramic artist um, in sort of a, a rebirth um, process. Helena and the Archie Bray is a place that, that my life began again as a ceramic artist. So that's a, a, an interesting little piece. There's more, more to that than, um, than somebody would, would know just looking at that at the show. Um, so I think um, words, texture, um, actually being involved in the piece and its production, being able to touch it, being able to give put myself into the piece, whether that's each stroke um, as I'm painting or as I'm throwing or as I'm trimming or deciding how to decorate it. It's, it's really a personal journey and I love to share that with others as they view it at a show or touch it themselves or bring their own meaning to the words or the shape or the function of the piece and, uh, and carry that forth in their home and in, in their life. So it's, a, it's an honor to be able to share that with people as an artist.